All right. So we have a lot to talk about today. Teleport to hit me. I take a little break. I don't think I'm going to put that in now. Ho, oh, it's a term of endearment. What's up, everybody? This is Janisha, and welcome back to Whole Podcast, Her Own Entertainment. And remember, this is a safe space to share your thoughts and your opinions, but opinions are like booty holes. Everybody got one, and it probably stink. Today's thought of the day is make sure you count your blessings. Those small wins begin to add up to those big wins. And in celebrating small wins, we're celebrating 50. Is this the right side? I can't tell. We're celebrating 50,000 followers and subscribers across all platforms. Yeah, I'm so thankful for everyone that has been following me or that is new to following me. Thank you for all of your support. I couldn't do it without you guys. All right, guys, so we got a lot to talk about today. Light skin Keisha is trending in the social media streets, and this time it ain't about her body or her skin complexion. We're going to get all into that. Now, for those of you who may be living under a rock and don't know who Light Skin Keisha is, I'm going to fill you in. Light Skin Keisha first became social media famous with her skits. I thought she was pretty funny and relatable. And then she started rapping. And I liked her little songs. Rock Good was a good song. I still play that to this day. Then she went on to Love and Hip Hop in which the drama with her and Akbar was just everywhere because Akbar was trying to throw hands because Light Skin Keisha said that she was the queen of Atlanta. Akbar wasn't having that. And then she got to the big television bag and she landed a role on Power. And she was everyone's favorite character. But the fans were upset that they didn't get a chance to see Miss Keisha get them cheeks clapped on television. And have you seen those cheeks? Miss Keisha is giving natural to me. She got the best body out. Anyways, this week, Miss Keisha revealed that she was prego and I was hurt because light skin Keisha has been across your mind since the beginning of time. And I posted it on my Facebook and one of my followers has some words to say. She was suspicious of the boyfriend and she thinks that the boyfriend was getting her pregnant to trap her because he knew he was cheating. And I sent the eyes emoji because I'm like, wait, what did I miss? But a light bulb went off because I do remember that they went viral for this video right here. But I had a main though. So you had a bitch. I had a bitch. I mean, I definitely was there. I was there when you cheated on all the bitches like. Okay then. I'm glad you got it out. Cause I ain't going. <laughs> I'm not going, period. You, so, so, you so, would. Go for what? We ain't gonna talk about it. Go for what? No, let's talk about it. Put it out on the table. You're not gonna leave me if I cheat on you. You're stupid. You're not. You not You're not leaving me if I cheat on you. You're stupid. You're stupid. You're crazy. I've been with you so long. Okay. Try it. Try it. We'll see. You're not leaving me if I cheat on you. You're crazy. You want to cheat on me? Mm. First of all, baby, time ain't got nothing to do with it. That's how they get you trapped. They make sure they do right for a few years. And then they say, we've been together for too long. We got too much history. Well, Miss Lightskin Keisha wasn't going for that. She said that I don't care what you do. If you cheat, I'm leaving. So my follower, one of my followers ended up bringing that to light. And I'm like, hmm, maybe that makes a good point. Now, I'm just more upset that he got on Beyonce's internet and said confidently that this lady will not leave him if he cheats. It's the confidence for me. So yeah, a few days ago, she released that she was pregnant with the beautiful pictures, maternity pictures of her and him. But his baby mama had a lot to say, and I'm gonna pull it up. And she says, one thing about dad beast, they gonna have some more kids. Slap face. And then, this is pretty long, bear with me. It's the fact that my daughter haven't talked to at Coco Van Gogh, she tagged him since March because he blocked her and told her she can't come to his house anymore because me and him had an argument. So she had to find out that her dad was having another child through social media from her friend. Yesterday, when they announced their pregnancy via social media, his mother, my daughter's grandmother, wrote and asked her if she was okay, randomly out of the blue. 
My daughter is 11 years old, soon to be 12 in November. So now she is fully aware of everything that's going on and her feelings are hurt behind it. And she wanted to talk to her dad about it. So she told her grandma to tell him. Do you know this MF has the nerve to say he will call when he get back to Atlanta as if he doesn't have a phone to communicate with her ASAP? Like it was not okay that she had to find out via social media. She has a sibling on the way. Wait, it was not okay that she had to find out she had a sibling on the way. How can he produce and publicly show excitement for an unborn child when he has a child here he picks and chooses when he wants to be in her life? Make it make sense, but this y'all favorite motivational speaker, LOL. It's been FM on my end, and that's why he's so mad that he can't control me and tell me what to do. But what you're not going to do is keep playing in my child's face because we all know she got a mother that's not going to play about her. Got a whole podcast, but can't even communicate with his daughter, clown. And then she went on to post screenshots of when he, I guess when he first started out, how he was saying he was doing it all for his daughter and how things have changed. So Miss Lyskin Keisha got wind of it and she had some things to say. And I'm gonna pull that up as well. People need to grow up and people need to stop lying. And that's just that on that. People need to grow up and people just need to start being a woman. Be a grown woman. Be a grown woman. Be a grown woman about yours. Because that's that on that. I'm not a felon. I've got a clean record. I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm not driving my. <laughs> listen. I can. Listen. I can do like. That's what I'm saying. Y'all don't know what's going on. So at the end of the day. That's just what that is. We're happy. We happy. Is the taco good? Hmm. Okay, first off, I have a couple of questions. What did you being a felon have to do with her claims of him being a Debbie? So it automatically seems as if Keisha was making it about her versus the baby mama instead of the claims that she was bringing forward. And whatever car that she's driving... From that statement alone, I did not see the baby mother mentioning light-skinned Keisha, but we're going to keep going and see what else transpires because it's a lot. So then the baby mothers posted, BM number two, no one addressed you, but before you are a mother, you are a woman first. You've been around when me and him were a couple because you were smashing his brother. So please just enjoy your pregnancy, love. Now, before we get into it, I would like to say that I've learned about speaking on another woman's pain. Whenever there's another ex involved, I get gone or I just say, I wish you guys the best in the healing. I'm not about to speak on something that I don't know because people do play both sides. And I think it's a huge red flag that with her being pregnant, this is coming out. Another thing to note is that the baby mama is right. I'm going to side with her on this part. She did not mention you. She was talking about the dad and his relationship with the daughter. She never said nothing about you guys being unhappy, but like skin Keisha came for it. So after, after Miss Lady posted that, like skin Keisha then posted some long videos and we're going to have to sit through a few of them to get to the gist of what she's saying. About, oh, she didn't address you. She didn't address you. She didn't address me in that post, correct? She didn't address me in that post. In that specific post, she didn't address me. Oh, but baby. His mother, his sister, gets calls about me. Maybe every other month. Maybe once a month. Anything that's concerning us. They get calls about me. I don't address her. She hasn't addressed me. She talks about me, though. She mentions me. So when I mention, I'm going to mention you. And that's just that on that. So... Okay, so is this the same mother that texts her granddaughter, are you okay? It seems as if the family is being messy and honey. When it comes to a messy family, I go the second direction. Don't tell me nothing because I don't know what you're telling her, but we're going to keep going. We did this when we announced that I'm pregnant. Huh? Why you did this when you and I, when, when when we announced that I'm pregnant? Because you're obsessed with me. You have an obsession. This ain't even about your child. You don't even make the things about your child. 
He's a deadbeat. Hmm. Let's take it back. You say he hasn't seen her since March. Well, he does have the videos or whatever. She was with us in April. She was with us in April. That's a fact. <sighs> but what happened in April? She was with us for two weeks or whatever, spring break, whatever. She was with us for that time period. And what happened? Mm, harassment. That's what happened. Harassment is what happened. <sighs> I hate. Okay. Okay, so just based off that video alone, I do think light skin Keisha is reaching from that post, from the post that the baby mama posted, she did make it about him being a deadbeat and saying how her daughter had to find out through someone else that she had a sibling on the way and the daughter reached out to her dad and her dad told her allegedly that he was going to call her when he make it back to Atlanta as if he wasn't able to call her right away or wherever that he was. So I do think that her being pregnant was a correlation into the post and it was mentioning the daughter, the daughters and father relationship. It had nothing to do with light skin Keisha. Now I understand um, light skin Keisha is on edge because she, she has heard that she has been mentioning her, but I mean, that is just hearsay based off that post. She did not come for you, but she got some more words for us. Blocked you. Because she has her, his daughter has his number. You use her, you use your daughter's phone to attack him and to be able to get in contact with him and cuss him out any chance that you get because you are bitter. That's what happens. What happened was, is you threatened to call the police on us after we tried to make arrangements to drop her off to you. That's what happened. What happened was, is that your, your daughter was crying. Boo-hoo crying. Because she did not want to go home. Because she said her mama does too much and she's always mean and she cusses everybody out. That's what happened. You have been stalking us for years. This is what happens. I'm talking about we can go back to four, 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 four or five years ago where you have been stalking us. Popping up on us. That's what happened. Debbie. I don't think a deadbeat is going to offer to take custody or joint custody even. I sat on the phone with you. Yeah, what is I sat on the phone with you and I tried to hear you out. But the only thing I could hear was you talking about us. You're not worried about the child. You're worried about us. He even said that it would be a smooth transition. We're not going to hold her hostage from you. We're not going to do all that because at the end of the day, a child needs their mama. Oh, no. You want to call him Chip Nigga? Well, he offered to take us and you take, take the stress off of your hands. You want to call him Chip Nigga? You want to call him Chip Nigga? You want to threaten him? You want to talk about me? See, this is it, so much. So the baby mama has responded to all of this. I guess she caught wind of it. And she says, how dare you post those pictures from when she was just with you this past spring break as if you're consistent. This was the last time she saw you before you blocked her. Post up some pictures from her fifth grade gra graduation. Post up some pictures of her first day of middle school. Post up some pictures from a birthday party when she was being celebrated by you. What is her teacher's name? Hell, what is her favorite color? i wait. Y'all keep speaking on things outside of our daughter and that should be the topic. That should be the topic, not my personal life and the false narrative y'all putting out. If I'm a felon, why can't you get your daughter? If I'm a convicted felon, please post those receipts. Again, I'll wait. But to speak on anything criminal is crazy when you've been locked up for your violent behavior numerous of times, not to mention one was for putting your hands on me. Who child? So it looks like she have a reason to be bitter. That man according to her, has put her his hands on her. So she's angry and dumb with the controlling tactics. And she says, I never even spoke with his mom or sister. Girl, shut up. If you just want to defend your man because he can't defend himself, just say that. But why lie? That just goes to show you and make up anything, not even caring, just so y'all can save face.
And I took him off child support because I was being fair and he said it would be better for everyone if he sent it to me directly. And yes, I did say I was putting him back on child support because after I said, no, she's not coming to live with y'all, you blocked her and said she can't come back over. Why y'all keep saying my daughter don't live with me? This is news to me. Who the fuck does she live with then? It's crazy how y'all trying to switch the narrative, lying to save face, making up all this bogus information, but has yet to post a receipt to prove it. Where's the proof? Woo! I need a breather from that one. Um, now personally, my little two cents, the daughter is 11 years old and she's on social media. So she sees everything plays out. So for the mama, social media was not the place to get all, all of this started when it could have been a phone call, but all of you guys are blocked. So I get it. As for light skin, Keisha, baby, you are pregnant. Enjoy your pregnancy. If you, what I've learned is that if you ever have to step outside of your comfort zone to defend the man and his ex situation, that's just too many red flags. Now, not only with this video that I posted of him saying straight up, you're not going to leave me for cheating. Um, in that video, she also said that I was there when you was cheating on them other bitches. I'm glad you got that out your system. Baby, a cheater is a cheater. And this is what comes with a cheater. A cheater is someone who is not honest on what they want and or what they expect out of the relationship. Or maybe they're manipulative. But this extra baggage and bitter women is what comes with from being with a cheater. So the best thing is just to enjoy this pregnancy. Y'all are going to be married soon and all of y'all are going to have to be a big family. And years down the line, when kids get older, none of this is going to matter because the siblings are going to love each other regardless if the mothers get along or not. So I wish them a lot of success and happiness. And I hope all of this stuff just stopped playing out on the internet because we did not ask for this. We didn't. <sighs> all right, next topic. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.